Hello, my name is Andrea Mitchell. I am with Plexus and I have loved so many parts of this journey, but one of the things that I love the most are the people that I get to do this with. And it's actually gonna be hard to decide the order of this because I'm, I'm so excited for y'all to hear all of these stories. Um, but I am going to kick it off with Roslyn. Um, Ros was my um, boss, um, what did we decide, 20 years ago? Mm -hmm. And um, she had her first while I was her assistant, and I got to hold this precious child in the NICU. It was my very first NICU experience, which we will talk about NICU a lot tonight, neonatal intensive care unit. unit. And um, I got to hold him and feed him a little bottle in the NICU. And so he has a near and dear place in my heart. Um, and I'm going to try not to cry during this entire call. We'll see if that happens. So I am so privileged for y'all to get to hear from Rosalind Payne um, for so many reasons. But Ros, go ahead and just tell us your story. I sure will. Hi, y'all. Um, I'm going to share a little bit about my son, my sweet son. Uh, his name is Colton. And when he was in the fourth grade, he was diagnosed with high functioning autism. Um, we weren't sure what was going on with him. He had a lot of social issues. He had a hard time making friends, making connections. He had some processing issues. Um, there was just um, a lot of confusion in his world. He didn't understand some basic things. We had to teach him some things that normally come in eight to, to normal kids. And we didn't know what was happening. We didn't know anybody with autism. I mean, this was, this was a while ago. He is now 19 years old. So this was a little bit ago. This was close to 10 years ago. Um, it just wasn't as prevalent as it is now. Um, and you know what? I... We struggled, you know, he was, we diagnosed when he was 10. And then four years later, I was introduced to, to Plexus. Um, and the crazy thing is, is that at the time I was introduced, I didn't want to do the business. I had no desire to do the business, but there was a need we needed for him. And that was a brain mapping therapy that we were hoping would help him. He was about to go into middle school. Um, he was, he was, you know, for typical children, middle, uh, our middle school is just so scary, and we were so afraid. Um, it was going to cost us $1,000 out of pocket every month, and anybody on here that's a special needs mama knows having a special needs child is extremely expensive, and, and not being able to provide for that child is heartbreaking for all of us because we want to be able to give them the world, right? But the world does not open up for these kids. We have to be their advocates, and we have to fight for them. So when um, I knew I needed extra money and this was presented, I sat on it for a few months because I was a skeptic, but thought, you know what, let's just give this a try. I need this money for him. Um, we, I jumped in, gave it a try. My first full month with Plexus, I made $1,200. I mean, $1,200. I was thinking I was going to make a couple hundred bucks. We were able to provide this therapy for this child. I could not believe it. I couldn't believe that this network marketing business was a conduit to helping my child get this therapy. And then that opened up the gamut for what else could this do for him? He struggled so much, y'all. He was so, he got to a point in his life where he was so lonely. Even though we had the brain mapping and we had done the things, he was still in a position in his life where he's like, mom, I just don't have any friends. Mom, I don't think if, I don't think if I existed anymore, the other kids would even notice. And this is not the thing you want to hear your child say ever. And so in that moment, I realized, okay, at this time I had been in Plexus for about a year when he said this. And I thought, buddy, we don't have to keep you at the school you're at. We can move you somewhere else. We can move you somewhere else that with other kids like you that understand you and the teachers understand you and they don't give up on you and they don't turn to me, pull me in meetings and say, your son's never going to make it at this school. Look at him. And the horrible things that teachers used to say. And I thought, I need a safe place for him. So because of what I was able to make with Plexus, I, I moved up the ranks very quickly. In about 14 months, I went diamond with this company. And with those funds, we were able to put him at a special school in Dallas for kids with learning differences. And his entire life changed. He had friends and he had support and he didn't feel like the odd man out because they were all quirky and he loved it. He goes, mom, they're all like me. I don't feel stupid anymore and I don't feel lonely anymore. And it was just incredible. And on top of that, we have uh, Colton takes uh, Plexus Slim. Um, I didn't realize the anxiety he, dealed with, he dealt with, but y'all, that Slim evened him out. So much so that it got to the point for years, he would come down in the morning, make his own Slim and head out to school. Um, we also have him on ProBio5 and Mega X. So all y'all know kids on the spectrum need uh, Omegas. Um, 
he's and and he wasn't sleeping for a long time he would pace at night and at that point you know once we had the the pro bio 5 we did bio cleanse and mega x that combo he was sleeping beautifully and y'all he has just advanced he has done things that i never imagined this kid would be able to do and just this year this sweet kid went off to college something that his teachers told me he would never do some teachers told me that this is it you know this is about as far as your kid will probably get well look at him now I've got this amazing kid thriving at college and happier than he's ever been. He's still on the road. He's still working through things. But guys, I'm not going to lie. I could not have done the brain mapping. I could not have put him where I put him. And I wouldn't have had these products that have completely changed his world. So I tell you what, if you guys, if you guys know anybody with a child on the spectrum, with struggles, with all the things, you guys, please, please reach out to them and say, listen, I don't know if you've heard about this or not. You could get it from me or get it from somebody else, but you might want to give these products a try because I hear they're pretty life-changing for kiddos like yours. So thanks, you guys. Appreciate you letting me share about my boy tonight. And I just want to say, like, I've heard Rosalind tell the story. I mean, I've watched the story unfold for the last 19 years. Um, but to hear the story and then to hear like that Colton is thriving in college, that he's able to go off on his own, that he's able to um, process through the day. Cause I think one of the things that we really don't understand about, about autism is just the processing. It's just the daily like processing of life, like this step and then this step and then what comes next and, and already looking at the third step and not knowing how to get there yet. And, and I was hearing Rosalind talk the other day about this and hearing just what the daily struggles. And I think that's what's interesting about all of these stories is hearing this is where my kid struggles on the daily. Like it's not even like the diagnosis, it's like the daily struggle. And then to know, but if, if I can get him to just take a breath and start with step one and then go to step two, and he can do that because his brain can kind of like calm down and, and, and figure it out. And I just think when we can see our friends' lives, like Rosalind's life changed because she can go, I can take a step back and breathe and know that I can release him just a little bit more. And as moms of special needs kids, if you are one or if you know one, getting to just take one micro step back is a huge deal. Like getting to let your kid do one thing on their own or with somebody else that you entrust them to because you've made progress is a huge deal. So thank you, Rosalind, for sharing Colton with us. Um, because he has uh, just changed so many lives and I'm excited to see what God has written for him uh, through these college years. Um, next, I want to bring on someone else who has a little boy who's absolutely precious and one of my favorites. And this is another one I have gotten to see since birth. Um, so, you know, I got to hear about her getting pregnant with him and, and get to hold him and just love on him. And my husband just absolutely fell in love with him on one of our trips to Hawaii. And so I'm excited for Megan to share um, what it looks like to have a little one still um, and what some of our products have done to help their family. And she's got a lot going on. So um, I am hoping that she gets just a minute of quiet to get to tell us her story. Yes, they are all in bed. I have, um, I have three little ones. Um, Plexus is actually, <clears throat> well, fer fertility is actually why I got started with Plexus. And so now I have three little ones, Benjamin being my original Plexus baby, and then this little bump coming any day now. So yes, we're, uh, we're a little busy over here. Um, but Benjamin is five and a half, and he has Down syndrome, and he was a birth diagnosis. So we were kind of thrust into the special needs world unexpectedly, um, even though I had been a teacher for many years. Um, living the special needs world is completely different than um, having it in my classroom, you know, just during the day. So um, we were really kind of thrown for a loop when Benjamin was born. And um, I had been on Plexus my whole pregnancy with him. I took the triplex. Um, I was taking the protein shakes at the time. Um, I was taking several of the products, the multivitamin and uh, omegas came out a little bit later. Um, but kids with Down syndrome um, are very prone to chronic illnesses, uh, things like autoimmune issues. Um, thyroid issues are a big, big one that our kiddos are susceptible to. 
and they're also more prone to GI issues. Kids with Down syndrome typically have low tone. It's different than muscle. Um, if you pick up a baby that has low tone, they may be kind of floppy. So that was one of the, the things that they saw right when Benjamin was born where that made them say, mm, let's, let's have him checked up for Down syndrome. And so because of that low tone, a lot of those kids have GI issues and struggle with constipation. And I am happy to announce that Benjamin does not struggle with those at all. He is a pretty regular two a day kiddo. Um, so we, we don't struggle with a lot of the, the main health issues that are so prevalent in our community and with his friends. Um, he was born very healthy. And a lot of kids also have heart conditions. He doesn't have any heart issues. Um, and, and I do think that a big part of that was because he was taking plexus from the very beginning. I was focusing on his health from the very, very beginning. Um, another thing that um, Benjamin had, the, the biggest thing that he really struggles with is cognitive development and his speech. Um, he was very quick to walk when it comes to kiddos with Down syndrome. Um, he started walking right before he was two, which is actually a pretty good um, age for kids with Down syndrome when it comes to those gross motor skills. Um, but speech and communication has always been his biggest struggle. He is cons he's mostly nonverbal, um, but we started him, he's been taking the X Factor kids since they came out. Um, and then he's also taken Pro Bio 5. Um, he takes X Factor kids in the morning and Pro Bio 5 at night. He takes both every day. Um, and then when the Mega Kids microbiome drink came out, I started him on that. He loves it. We call it his juice. And I will tell you, I don't think it's a coincidence that his imitation, his mimicking, his sign language, his verbal approximations, all of that exploded around the same time that we were on the Mega Kids microbiome. So because of that drink and what it does for brain health and cognitive development, I really do believe that it is making a huge impact. We're seeing great strides in him and I'm so excited for the growth that we're seeing in him. So he is a proud Plexus kid. I'm a proud Plexus mama. Um, it has made a huge, huge, huge impact in his health. And um, so I tell every mom that has a kiddo with Down syndrome about it every chance I get, um, just because of what a difference it has made in our lives. Oh, and as a mom that goes through that speech therapy every single week, I know that all you're looking for is just that little bit. Just give me mm -hmm. something you didn't give me before. And I think like I got Terry thinking, well, if I hadn't gotten so bold about sharing what it had done for Plexus, my sister would not have gotten it. And then my sister was, my nephew is actually making student. And I just think about like just the the ripple effect of telling people what this these products do for the health of each other and for our kids is such a huge i mean that's why i tried rosalind said well you know colton's doctor said these are you know products have a lot of the same ingredients that i'm already giving him so you might as well give them to him and i was like oh well if Roz trusts giving it to colton then i'll then i'll take it and so you know it, it really does give you such a level of like security knowing that um you're doing it and golly just to know that Benjamin is making huge strides and uh, I think any mom and it'll be interesting to hear what Mickey will say coming up next but any mom that has a special needs child I don't know about y'all but I would say I would give up physical development for for communication if I could just talk to Ella and have her speak back to me something I would almost give up some physical things. I would almost give up some other things. Um, and so it's interesting that, that that's so key for Megan is that Benjamin's making huge strides um, in communication because I think as a mom, that's what we, we just, we strive for so badly is to have that communication. And um, so I alluded to it, Vicki Line is next. And um, Vicki's daughter, Jessica, and I are the same age. Um, I think we're like a year apart. And um, Vicki's, one of her other daughters, she has four, one of her other daughters is um, one of my dearest friends, um, spoke to her earlier today, we talked about this call, um, but we are actually connected because her sister and my daughter have such similar um, lives. And so 
I am just thrilled for y'all to get to hear from someone who has an adult child um, and what their lives have looked like um, on the product. So Vicki, will you share Jessica's story with us? Hi everyone, I'm Vicki Line, and um, in 1979, we had two healthy, perfect little girls and decided to um, try again. And um, this time we found out we were having twins and we were thrilled, but at birth, um, one of them, Jessica, uh, her placenta deteriorated prematurely. She was born with hypoxia, low oxygen and low blood sugar and other things. And then there was a mistake made in the NICU and she was overdosed, massive overdose of phenobarbital. Uh, when she finally came home from the hospital after 18 days, we had no idea what you know the prognosis was for her. her. She, they couldn't tell us. But as the months passed, we began to see that her development was delayed. And at nine months, uh, we had a CAT scan or MRI done and they actually told us that her brain injury was so massive that they couldn't imagine that she had even survived. So her story has been one of absolute survival. Um, she um, has a very, very compromised body, um, which creates a lot of uh, conditions that are uh, have her classified as medically fragile. And she has the same problems that, and has from birth, that uh, the others have had to a certain extent, digestive issues, but especially elimination. Pooping is a huge thing and for her to be able to, <coughs> she's non-ambulatory, so she can't walk at all. And if you can't walk, that affects your ability to poop. Uh, neurologically, she is about 18 months old. Um, anyone that knows her, believes that she understands everything that you say to her, but she does not have the pathway intact to ever be able to talk. Uh, so when I watch Ella beginning to talk and to walk and all of those things, it's such um, a thrill to me. So <coughs> just keeping, <coughs> excuse me, just keeping her alive uh, was the biggest thing. And um, when she was about 20, <clears throat> because I'm a single mother, <clears throat> I was living somewhere away, and I came home to visit her about every month, and I came home at one point, and she was like starving to death and crying all the time, and unknown to me, they had put her on insure, and the reason I'm telling you that is if you have an in, a, a handicapped child, be careful about something like that, because it's laden with sugar, and it will fill your child up temporarily, but they burn through it so fast and then they're starving. And that's what was happening to her. So got her off of that and she began to gain weight back and all of those things. She also is um, classified as spastic, which means that she's very tight rather than the low tone. And she uh, had her first seizure when she was four months old. I didn't even know what it was and has a history of seizures. I think her second year of life, I lost count of how many times we were in the hospital. But the biggest uh, thing is that when she, I was told when she was just an infant that the biggest threats to her life would be respiratory infections like pneumonia and to uh, become septic because of being impacted and I never knew this, but people actually die from not being able to poop. You can become so impacted that your intestines can rupture. So um, that was a huge challenge. Like Ella, her early years, we gave her a glycerin suppository almost every day. Then we started trying to get fiber into her. So we gave her this mixture of chopped fruit just to get fiber into her. Um, and then when she was 27, she suddenly got sick, really no explanation, and it was just a downward spiral. She was in ICU for seven weeks, and at the end of that time, the doctor said, there's nothing else we can do. I mean, medically, there's nothing. And they wanted me to send her to hospice, which I wouldn't do because I just felt like that was the death sentence over her. But a friend came to the hospital 
and told me about some natural supplements. And when you've been told that there is no hope, medicine can't do anything, she's gonna die, you'll try anything. Now, this was in 2006, so Plexus didn't exist then, but <coughs> she was sent home on home hospice. Uh, and I was told that she couldn't possibly live more than two weeks because she couldn't consume the calories that she needed or the fluids that she needed. And three months later, she went back to the doctor and um, all of those issues that she was experiencing that were critical, <coughs> of course, I got a scratch in my throat, uh, had, you know, corrected themselves. But um, <coughs> when Rachel told me about Plexus, I didn't immediately think of putting Jessica on them, but then I did, and they were so far superior to what she has been taking. So at this point, um, Jessica um, has chronic scoliosis, meaning that because she's not ambulatory, her spine is so badly curved that she's basically in a C where her shoulders are almost touching her hips and that completely compresses one lung. So inflammation is a huge issue to make sure that her lungs are functioning. Also, as I said, the being able to eliminate or poop. Uh, BioCleanse has been like a miracle. I mean, no suppositories, no, you know, she has a standing prescription for Miralax that I will not allow them to use and she doesn't need it. And bio uh, and ProBio 5 to prevent her from getting any kind of infections. And y'all, I'm telling you, she is probably the most handicapped person that you will ever see. And she is also the healthiest and happiest. She lives in a residential home with other handicapped people and goes to like a day hab program. And she literally never comes down with any of the stuff that everybody else gets. And anybody that's involved with her is just amazed at her health and um, her happiness. So um, she's also at normal weight. We do not feed her through a tube because I felt like it's very important for her to continue to have that chew. Um, I think it, you know, goes with the brain and everything else, but obesity would be a disaster for her and health, you know, Plexus products keep her balanced. Now she doesn't take slim just because she can't drink for herself and just trying to make sure that she got all of it in her would be too difficult, but she does take BioCleanse, regular dosage of it. She takes uh, ProBio 5, regular dose of that. And she takes uh, Mega X for brain health. And since I've added ease, that has just been huge as far as she's concerned, especially through this season, knowing that we're not dealing with lung inflammation. Also because she doesn't walk, her feet tend to be very swollen. And I've seen that go down as well. But she's so happy. Uh, if you know me and you ever see the pictures that I post of her, she's always happy and she's just a blessing. So she's now 41 years old, which y'all, that's a miracle. It's an absolute miracle. And again, I cannot believe that no doctor, no specialist, no anyone ever, ever mentioned natural supplements. But that and God and lots of prayer is what has, has preserved her. And um, it's also my uh, biggest motivation for taking the products myself, <laughs> because I've got to stay healthy enough to be around for her, uh, being her advocate as one of the others uh, mentioned. So that's Jessica's story and how grateful we are for these products that, um, you know, they have they healed her of cerebral palsy and all these other things? No, but I don't think that there's any way that she would have the health that she enjoys if it were not for those products. Yeah, I think the quality of life is so huge of just if they're going to be in these lives that, that the Lord has written for them, that we can give them the best quality of that life. Um, possible. And I think that's, I mean, anybody that listens to your story, Vicki, would say you're an advocate 
um, for your daughter. I know you're an advocate for all of your daughters. Um, they, you would go to the mat for any of them and watching y'all rally around Jessica is just so encouraging. Um, Rachel was typing in the, Rachel's her sister, uh, Vic, Vicky's other daughter. She was typing in the chat and I had to stop reading because um, I was getting emotional that, you know, Jessica was her bridesmaid. Like Jessica's a part of their family. She's, she's as much a part as, um, and she'll probably let them take her out of her social surroundings and all of the fun that she has where she is. Um, and so it's just such a gift to know that, that again, something is out there that actually does make a health difference for these kids. Thank you so much, Vicki, for sharing Jessica and with us. One thing I did forget to say, Andrea, is I spoke about how she had this history of seizures her entire life. And when she was in ICU and I actually, uh, with the, her sister's agreement, we put her on a do not resuscitate. And as part of that, I don't know if that's still the way that they work, but as part of that, they took her off of her seizure medications and she has never gone back on seizure medications and still today does not take seizure medications. And I know that Ella's story is a lot like that as well. Yeah, it's interesting how much our stories, the, the girls are different, but our stories really do medically line up um, so similarly. Um, so I'm excited to share my story with y'all. Um, seven years ago right now, I was a Plexus customer. I had a seven-year-old daughter who is severely handicapped and five and three-year-old boys who were very active and energetic. I was so tired and run down that I'd been diagnosed with fibromyalgia, Hashimoto's, an autoimmune thyroid disorder, endometriosis, and they were running every other test they could think of because it wasn't getting any better. After a couple of months on the pink drink, I got better labs, and for the first time in years, I decided to ask my friend Rosalind to tell me more about these products that she was showing me. That's when she told me about the probiotic we've talked about, the magnesium supplement BioCleanse that we've mentioned, and the multivitamin called X Factor. You see, Ella, our oldest, has cerebral palsy. She was born perfectly healthy, but about 12 hours old, she started seizing, and for 72 hours, she continued, and we ran tests. Eventually, she was diagnosed with group beta strep meningitis, and the infection and the seizures had done so much damage that at a year old, she was eventually diagnosed with CP. But this diagnosis was not the biggest issue. The problem is that her body was so damaged by infection and antibiotics that she had even more issues than the resulting brain damage. We had already survived her first month of life where they kept telling us she was so sick we'd probably lose her and, a year, and years and years of seizures where we were pretty sure each time could be the last time. If you've ever seen a child seize, you know what I'm talking about. We'd survived a season of having being tube fed through a surgically placed tube for nutrition. We were sitting in a season of really bad muscle tone. People talked about low tone and spastic tone. Ella actually has fluctuating tone where she can go from being completely limp to completely spastic in an excited heartbeat. Um, we um, were giving her <laughs> jarred baby food as meals at a, a seven-year-old and Pediasure, which Vicki discussed in Sure, it's essentially the same thing, it's sugar milk. Um, she had chronic urinary tract infections, which meant daily antibiotics for years, not for a season, and chronic and debilitating constipation that was horrific and not made better by the common over-the-counter remedies everyone goes to in their head. So when you think, oh, we'll just take this, Vicki alluded to this as well, those are the worst things that we did for her, I think, when it came to her constipation. I saw a light at the end of the tunnel with the Plexus products. Within 24 hours of Ella being on my dose, oops, of these three products, she had a bowel movement on her own. Y'all, it was the first time in five years that we didn't have to help her go to the bathroom. Can you imagine the relief to us, but also to a seven-year-old little girl, a normal bodily function finally working? Then came a greater surprise. After years of urinary tract infections and those daily antibiotics, we stopped having them. The doctor's office called just to check on her because they actually thought she had passed away when they stopped hearing from us. We were still sitting at almost seven years. We are, to this day, right now, still sitting seven years without a urinary tract infection, a seizure, and her health is incredible. Not to mention this summer, just in the last few weeks, we've seen her walk unassisted for the first time ever. It didn't fix her brain damage. 
We don't claim to fix things, but the root issue of so many of her health issues are resolved. In the midst of Ella, I also have two boys. My older one is 12 now and struggling with hormones, attention issues, and skin breakouts. His teacher suggested we get him tested and put on medication, but we decided that a probiotic, stabilizing his blood sugars, and giving him supplements for mental focus would work much better. Then there's our youngest who can't be left out as the baby. He was born while Ella was crazy sick and while she was in and out of the hospital on a monthly basis. So he decided to show up with something called eosinophilic esophagitis, essentially hives all the way up and down his esophagus. So throwing a multivitamin at a kiddo with uh, probiotics in it is helping so much with the healing. Y'all, can you imagine all of this might have been stressful and that my body might have been under a lot of pressure? So I saw my scales start to go up, not because I wasn't taking my products, but because I wasn't taking care of me. Last year, I decided to focus on my eating, my moving, and some of our new products, along with the old faithfuls. So many of us get to do this together, and now I'm down 25 pounds in the last year. These products work on root issues, not a miracle cure. Ella is currently on about two to four ProBio5 a day. The same with BioCleanse, two X Factor, which is our multivitamin, two Mega X, which is our Omega supplement, two Vital Biome, which because she is 14 years old, Hormones are insane and Vital Biome is a game changer for regulation if you need a 28 day cycle, at least for her it does. And all of these we open up into the lean protein shake twice a day, which she looks forward to. That is the best replacement of Pediasure I could have ever asked for. And now we've added the Mega Kids microbiome drink with her fluid intake because she will drink it better than she will drink plain water. And we know that she's getting great brain nutrition. Do you think that there's a chance that these products could change your life in six months, a year? How about seven years from now? I challenge you to get back with the person who invited you to hear more about what these products could do for you and your family and your loved ones. Oh, and tomorrow night, you can hear about how much fun we have while doing this business, even as busy moms, all trying to do what's best for our families and for ourselves. The person that invited you can tell you more about that call as well if you're even a slightly interested in the business that has helped us afford so much of what these kids need. I hope you've had a great time. I hope, I hope that you've connected with some of these stories and I hope that you have a great night. Y'all have a good one.